All right, so let's take a look at this question here, number K, um, where we have a fraction um, equal to a value here. So what we need to do in this case is we need to remove the denominator. Okay, by easily just doing a step where we cross multiply over the equal sign. Okay, so if we rewrite this expression, okay, we can have this, the x minus four is equal to one term, and then we have a negative three. So what we can do here is do five x is equal to negative three times x squared minus four. So simply we're doing is we're multiplying both sides by x squared minus four, and then we're canceling it out. So if I can show this in another step here. So cross multiply is the shortcut, but if you wanna know this, do this um, exact, here, let me just erase that again. What we would do is we would take the expression and we would multiply, um, so I put it in like larger brackets, and we would multiply by the common, the lowest common multiple, which in this case here is x squared minus four. Okay, it's going to be the term on the denominator. So if we expand this, we will have 5x times x squared minus 4 all over x squared minus 4 is equal to negative 3 times x squared minus 4. Okay, so this will have two terms that we can cancel, right? And then our resulting equation is just going to be 5x is equal to negative 3 x squared minus 4. Okay, now we need to get this into a form that we can try to factor. So I would expand the brackets one more time, okay, and make that plus 12, okay. And then to do this question, I would actually rewrite this so that I have um, everything equal to zero. Now to make things easier, let's remove the negative sign. So let's move the negative 3x to the left side. So we'll add 3x to both sides. That will cancel it on the right side and move it to the left. Let's subtract. 12 so we can have 12 on the other side and then we're going to leave the 5x by itself so that equation just becomes rewritten as 3x squared plus 5x minus 12. <clears throat> now how can you solve that well we would just apply the same methods that we used in the previous question where we have to find a product that gives us a negative 12. we have to find it where we add up to plus 5 and then we have to multiply to give you a three. So we need factors for 12, factors for three, such that when we put the brackets together, we have a, an expression of um, positive five in the middle. Okay, so we would set the equation up like this, make them equal to zero, and then start trying out your factors. Okay, so that's how that question would work.